I have two tips for you today about wetsuits and wetsuit repair. Now I'm lucky enough to own two wetsuits. This was my very first wetsuit. I got it in 2005 and it's thicker, it's quite durable. This has lasted me through I think seven Ironman distance races. And this is my newer wetsuit. It's thinner, it's a lot more fragile. It gets holes in it very easily. The pluses is, is that it was worn by Chrissy Wellington in a race and a photo shoot, but unfortunately it doesn't automatically make you a faster swimmer. You still have to log in pool time to improve. One thing I learned this year, and I don't know if it's just in my head, but when I put the old wetsuit on it felt like I was wearing a pool boy, like over my entire body. I went back to wearing that uh, for my races this year and I like it. Benefits of the thinner wetsuit, they say, you know, it's got increased range of mobility for your shoulder. I have been told that I swim like a warrior, <laughs> and that's what I do. I don't really know about shoulder mobility. I'm still learning how to swim properly. So, you know, the only benefit of that wetsuit is that it looks really good on. It's like really fitted. It looks like you feel like a rock star and you look like a rock star in it. Drawbacks to the thinner wetsuit is it damages so easily. It's very fragile. It seems every time I put it on, I notice a new hole or a new tear or fingernail mark, you know, where it starts to separate. This one was brutal. It's like on the hip. You see that? And that's my patch job, which is terrible, which I'm going to talk about next. My old wetsuit, it's, it's like it's bomb proof. You can put that thing on and nothing will damage it. So again, I sort of question what the benefit is to a thinner, you know, better, fancy wetsuit. Okay, so wetsuit repair. Don't do what I did and get suckered in into buying this $14 special rubber cement, seal cement, industrial strength neoprene cement, blah, 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 and this patch kit. These things do not work. Exhibit one. This is my fancy wetsuit. This is my patch job that had this hole on it. This was terrible. It. You know, I don't want to do this to begin with. I just want to go out and swim. I don't want to have to spend, you know, two hours trying to figure out how to fix this stupid hole. Um, I cut it out, followed the instructions. It didn't stick. It was lifting up at the edges. So I, like, I just swam races with it like that because I just didn't care. I was sort of mad about it. Um, then I used crazy glue to get it, the edges to stick down and then I trimmed off the edges. Now, crazy glue is where it's at. Little fingernail tears that I've had even in my old wetsuit are easily fixed with crazy glue. I don't care what the wetsuit manufacturers say. I use it on mine and it's it's so good. It lasts. You don't have to waste all this money on this kind of thing and have to, I mean when you get something like this, open it up and there's instructions that you have to I mean, I do not want to do this. Who, who wants to do this? You just want to get out there and start swimming again. Go to any dollar store. Uh, little tub, you get two little crazy glues in there for a buck. Just pop it open, seal it, it's done. Presto. So I'm sure there's probably a wetsuit manufacturer that's just cringing listening to this, but it works and... <laughs> you can pay $34 for this stuff, or you can pay $1 for crazy glue. That actually works. You can tell which one I'm gonna pick. Hopefully that helps you out, and that's all for now.